All right, so you got over the speech? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, remember, we're going to do this one according to the uh, focus group recommendations. And remember, sir, what we went over about the people-friendly gestures, right? The shrunken thumb, the soft chop. No, 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 you know, see, that soft chop goes away from the torso. Never tour, never tour. Always away, always away. <laughs> I got it, Paul. Okay. And as far as the height issue, yeah. we've raised the podium to give the illusion that you're not quite so tall. What are you, Doug Henning? <laughs> Anytime you're ready, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a trying time for me lately. <laughs> and for this administration. But I, I truly believe that there are better days ahead. I stand before you, a new mayor, new ideas, lots of new stuff. Ah, oh, forget it, come on, this is, look, this is me, huh? I'm still this tall. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm making these budget cuts because they need to be made for the city. And if you don't like the way I'm doing it, fair enough. Just don't vote for me next time. Just forget all these gimmicks, okay? All right, how about some questions? Mr. Mayor, how do you respond to accusations that your administration is out of touch with the needs and the cares of the people? I speak for every member of my administration when I say that we do not like to see people losing their jobs any more than you do. But what annoys me, what really frustrates me, is every single person sitting in this room has been here long enough to know that. But still, I guess you just, you just need a bad guy to sell your newspapers. That's all. Yeah, that's all right. I'll... <clears throat> All right, this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs>